Hey, I'm RT and welcome back to RT's World. So today I present you something special and it is blackjack again. But now you ask maybe if you've seen a lot of my videos, hey RT, you already built a blackjack. It was super complicated, it was super huge and I couldn't build it since it took like a week to build. <laughs> No, um, what I wanted to say is I already built the blackjack here on my channel, but this time we have the simplified automated version for up to four players, as you can see here in the background. And of course you could build it bigger, but for now I just wanted to have a compact version, which is three players and one dealer. So, um, but if you're curious and wonder about my automated huge like casino build which I did blackjack against the house like fully automatic you don't have to do anything except like pressing buttons and putting items in check out the video in the video description or in the info card section on your right so with that said let's directly dive into this video so as always the first part of this video will consist out of an explanatory part so I will explain how to you how everything works how every circuit interacts with the machine. And in the second part of the video, I will build it with you together block by block so you can have it in your single player or multiplayer world. And of course, this machine works across all versions of Minecraft. It also works in Bedrock since it's super easy redstone underneath. You will see it in a second. But now, how does this machine work? So as we can see here, we have here player blue, player, um, what is it, lime and player gray. And we have here also in gold the dealer. So those are just represented by some mannequins <laughs> and usually there should be players. And of course the dealer has the most to do or like the most intense job here. As soon as we insert here a diamond, the dealer can draw cards. And the dealer can draw two cards at once or he can only draw one card depending on what you want to do. Since blackjack works, you have like a card that you give the dealer, one, and then you give two cards to each player and then they have to decide if they want more cards and so on. And what I wanted to simulate here is just a very nice blackjack table from the casino. But of course in this machine or in this version you have to trust every player. You can't do that with randoms since yeah, everyone could scam you or get your bets whatsoever. As you can see here we have here different uh, kinds of bets. But before we gonna mo go more into the detail of the circuit behind this machine. I will show you what I had to design first. So first of all I had to make a decision which cards I want to do, how many decks I want to have for my blackjack and also which kind of uh, bets you can do. So you can do like 2, 4, 8, 16 or 32 diamonds. It's just represented by some uh, very unique um, discs. So people can see without looking at them how much diamonds you will bet. So those are basically yeah, equivalent to diamonds. And then I got like all the four suits for the for cards like spades, hearts, um, clubs and diamonds. And as we can see here, for example, for the hearts, we have here two all the way up to ten. And we have Jack, the Queen, the King and the Ace. So that's a full set of cards. And of course those in combination, we have here, what is it, 13 um, per set. Four sets, that makes uh, 54 cards per deck. And I selected three decks for this machine. Uh, you can choose it yeah, however you like, but I, do, I did three. Usually casinos don't do one deck since you can count cards and yeah, make the casino feel bad or the house feel bad. So that's why I just selected three decks for this machine. So uh, now I, I will erase all the cards here from the table and also all the bets. And now let's check this machine here out. So. First of all, we have to insert one diamond in here. So then the machine is completely ready. It works, it randomizes all the cards down there, all the three decks I explained to you earlier. So now I just want to draw one card for the dealer since we are gonna start. Uh, no, we don't gonna start. We get two cards for like the first player. So I just press the two cards and I get them. So we have here 10 and nine, so 19 for the first player. Of course, I have to get rid of them. Then another two cards for the next player. We have four and nine. Then another two cards. You get the idea, you can just draw the cards here and you will get them very quickly. We have queen and four. So the best uh, thing now to do is just uh, draw the dealer card. So one card, please. 
it's four. So the dealer has four. Of course, since the dealer is only four, he has to draw again another card. We have six. Now it's ten combined. The dealer has to go to a minimum of 16, since that's the rules of blackjack. Let's see, it's eight. So we have now four, six with 18. So the dealer is now at 18. And this player here is at 19. So he has to select, does he want another card? Of course he does not, since he's one above the dealer. This one has 13, the green one. The green one will take card usually. And it is a seven and that makes it 20, which is also great for our green player, since we have here only 18 as a blackjack dealer. The last guy has, uh, the, the gray one has 14, so he will of course select also to draw another card. The jack, yeah, that's now 24, so he is definitely out of the race. And now the dealer has to draw a card since both of them just checked and they didn't want to draw another card. So let's see, we have here four, 10, 18, and 24. The dealer just busted itself, the house is busted. This guy wins and this guy wins. So you get the idea. And we have here five um, frames. So everyone can have plenty of space to get to 21 or to just, yeah, over by themselves. Then we can return the cards right here. Just put them in in this barrel or also in this barrel here. It doesn't really matter. You can just place them at any point in the barrels and they will get recycled here. And now I will explain you how everything here works. So as soon uh, as we insert here one diamond, we put from the right dropper to the left this wooden X here and we activate very crucially this clock here. And this clock shuffles around cards pretty heavily. As we can see here, they get like, what is that one tick clock or two tick clock? It, it's really hard shuffling as you can see here. It's super random. Every dropper is the same. You get the idea. N not, no, no, no dropper stays the same for like more than half a second or so. As you can see here, pretty heavy randomization going on. And from this dropper here beneath, that's the exact output dropper. So we have here, for example, five, king and seven. And as soon as I wait a second, we have here eight, king and seven. Yeah, ace, there was, it's, it's like super random, you get the idea. And here is just the droppers, uh, the hopper line that's coming from the barrels where I just recycled the cards. So as a dealer, you can always recycle cards after a round, so they get always recycled into the three decks. Therefore, no player can count cards or has any advantage, since we have three decks in total in here, which is around 160, which is exactly not around 162 cards. So, um, but how does this machine like have a few safety features? Now, as you saw, it resets itself. Uh, you could, of course, just place here on the wall a lever and just activate this clock and you'll be fine if you want to play it. But if you play, want to play like on a server with friends or so and you can charge some money, why don't do it? <laughs> you just insert a diamond, you activate it, you ha have here a small pulse. Let's show you that. A small pulse that just triggers this timer here and we transfer all the items from right to left and then back from left to right. And that takes exactly 4.2 minutes. So you buy yourself basically 4.2 minutes of time to play blackjack with one diamond. And then you can just insert a new one to continue playing. So um, here we just have the reset circuit. After the 4.2 minutes, we just reset it by transferring the X back into the original dropper on the right, therefore deactivating this comparator and deactivating all this um, randomization stuff here. And what it also does is it activates this two, these two uh, pass extenders and they're responsible for placing these blocks beneath those observers. And as you can see here, those observers just look for this um, note blocks, which gives us cards, as you can see here, the queen in this case. And they yeah, just uh, reshuffle it again. So just put it back in there and at some point it will get transferred back into the system. So how does, does that work? The card drawing machine. So if we draw one card, we just power this line here we have here just a single pulse. Uh, let's see if I can simulate it very quickly. So uh, let's simulate a card to draw here. We just draw it. We fit a self-emptying dropper. We spit the card out. It gets transferred with this glass stack up there. You could, of course, also make a dropper tower that looks like this and just power it with observers, but that's faster. The glass elevator is a little bit faster. That's why I did it. And here, the other side, just simulate it here. It just gets us two pulses, so it's just two cards get transferred and now there should be three cards on top. 
yes, we have seven, eight, and five, and we just can recycle them back into the system at any point. So yeah, basically that's the, the whole magic behind this machine. I really like how it came out. Of course, you can skip this complete left part here if you want to, to play it just on a server. You just need the randomization part. Uh, with friends but if you want to charge something you have this time-based mechanism which is really nice i think and yeah also make sure to yeah think about the bets and also name these nice um, sets of cards like here for example the diamonds and you can do that by just googling um, what is it unicode uh, hearts diamonds clubs and spades and you will find these uh, symbols and just rename some paper on an anvil that's how i get these cards so, and with that said, uh, I think there's just one thing to mention before we go into the block by block tutorial, which is thanks once more to all your comments in the video section. I have so many comments suggesting nice and cool and also crazy video ideas, but I will build them in the future. I promise. I just wanted to release this blackjack version since it's a super popular video and I wanted to make it uh, much more fun for more players, not just single player. That's why I selected this one over the comment suggestions for this one. And I think there were some comments which suggested, hey, RT, just build a much simpler version of Blackjack. We can't handle this huge one. And yeah, here it is. <laughs> and also thanks to my Patreons for supporting me, especially Tristan and the Jimmy Cartel. I really, really, really appreciate your support. Thanks for that. And now enjoy the block by block tutorial. So welcome to the block by block tutorial. And as you see here, I pre-built some stuff, but don't be scared. I will cover you. So um, we have here a 17 by 13 platform, 13 in this direction, 17 in that direction. And just from the middle point, which is um, this one here, the red one, we have just one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six in both uh, directions. So that's exactly our middle point, that glass here. So make sure to build this up like that. We have here some concrete, some banners, some barrels, some note blocks here in the floor. And of course, all the, the uh, what is it called? The item frames and you don't have to fill them. Of course, don't pre-fill them. It's not necessary. That's just, uh, yeah, that was just from copying it over. Uh, you also don't need the armor stands here. They're just uh, representative for players. And we can also build here this wall, which has nice banners, some quartz bricks and here, a hopper so now you can pause it at any point to make sure you can build it up like this so um yeah now we go here to the back where the hole is and we have two hoppers facing to the left and one hopper facing forward directly into a chest then we're just gonna place some nice blocks right like this so and then we just make the item filter by just having one two three eighteen one two three and the third one should be already in the chest so then we just place here a dropper what is it yeah of course we have to place here this one first and then we have some droppers facing into each other in the right one we just place it with an x here we're gonna have a redstone dust here we're gonna have a comparator torch torch and just wire it up like this. So if you want to place the machine part where we basically make the timing circuit, you just have to build it like that. Comparator, some nice hoppers facing into each other. Torch, torch, two pieces of redstone and just fill this one to the brim with stuff. Um, make sure, I just didn't mention that, make sure that there's like one 32 stack left like this. So don't, it's just so since otherwise it will run all the time. So just make sure to have like four full stacks and one stack, um, just half, then it will work perfectly. So here we're gonna have a comparator. We're gonna have a torch, repeaters are the two ticks, piston another repeater set of two ticks and here we all went already gonna place in the magenta reset circuit so just throw a repeater in there for good measure and remove the supporting blocks if you like to do that 
So that's the timing mechanism completely done. Now we're gonna need some orange. For the orange part, we're just gonna make the output right here. So to the right with the wooden X, here's the output. And here we're gonna place in a sticky piston that just has an observer that faces into that observer if it's getting uh, pushed basically. Next up, we're gonna build this kind of frame here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks long. So the tenth block is already this, these four blocks here. Just make sure to place redstone everywhere, and also make sure to place what is what is what are they around yeah, in this direction, and make sure to place in some droppers that they built they basically should end up in a circle like this. So they just circle around. So now we can already place in right here a 12 long or yeah, it doesn't matter how long it is actually a very long hopper line and we can now bring over three decks. So we have the first, the second, the third and the fourth deck. I just copied them with the NBT tags. So I just will fill it now with three decks, which is one deck, two decks, and three. And uh, now everything should be fine and working correctly. So make sure to have the 12 chests and they should now get cycled in as soon. Where are we now in terms of this machine here? Just speed it up a little bit. It should reset now. Yeah, perfect. So we can start it now. Yeah, that's now super loud, I know. But at some point, yeah, it should stop since we're just circling through. And just to fill it a little bit faster, we will now trigger these ones here faster than we do with that, that ones here. So we're just gonna place in here temporarily repeater set to two ticks. And then we're just gonna need this kind of... Um, mechanism here and we should end up pulling a lot more in let's see if it also works where are we yeah you can see it now now we just uh, the, the things just disappear here perfect now all the chests are empty and now just the uh, hoppers will get empty at some point yeah as we can see here they just, yeah, they just vanish now. I will leave it on for a second now. So let's focus on the hopper beneath it. So the first thing is we need this green wool here. We're just gonna go directly beneath this blue strip and we're just gonna place here a torch. Here we're gonna place two blocks and we're gonna place two hoppers facing to the left. So this one should not uh, transfer items down since there's a torch. And then we just have to look at this spot here, like right between this here, here should be the hopper, which are the dropper, which is right here. So um, then we're just gonna place some glass in this configuration: one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So this configuration, then some hoppers leading up to this one. Where are my composters? That's just to reduce the lag a little bit place them here and now we can already place in the observers facing the node blocks and I think yeah we're also done here with this hopper line this is perfect we can now also remove this one here and have just the randomization does it work nicely yeah it's just randomizing perfect um, for some at some point you will need to like pull out a bit, bit of them and place them directly into this one here since that's where all the magic will happen and just place it back so that's the dropper we need to focus on that it should always be full that's why i just place it like this so um with that now done i'm gonna focus on some hoppers again let's get them from here so here are the return barrels, so we just wire them up like this. And same goes for the other side, like that. 
And from this uh, dropper here, we'll transfer all the items down at some point. And it should self-empty. And now we just make the self-emptying mechanism. It's a three by three by and one block here. Just have a comparator, two repeaters and some redstone, like so. Good. Now we want to place in here a piston and here a piston that looks like this and then we want to have a redstone repeater and set to four ticks and a pulse extender and just leading into the piston same for the other side redstone repeater pulse extender and the piston leading into uh, a redstone leading into the piston so with that done we can now place here the redstone dust just block down like this to take repeater just block down like this to 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 take repeater and then on this side we're gonna place repeaters at the two ticks repeaters at the two ticks and just a line of redstone dust same goes for the other side two ticks two ticks two ticks uh four ticks and just connect it up like this so let's just try it out if it works so we have here a node block and an observer and also adjust these repeaters here to one tick i just missed uh, click them once so let's try it off if we get two items it's one two and they should get transferred up perfect that's great actually so let's put them back into the system and then we're just gonna try it out on the other side as well that should give us one perfect that also works great uh yeah that's basically it uh, now we can just start it with the diamond let's just start it it will block it off we will start our di our timer here as we can see just counting down the 4.2 minutes we're just heavily randomizing uh, our droppers which is also great uh, we have here these two pistons extended so we can use these here on the top so let's get rid of all the items let's draw one card nine and let's draw two cards five and three perfect yeah and of course for all those out or curious there is a world download link as always in the video description so you can download this world and play around with it if you like so that's basically it that's how it works and that's how it's built um with that said thanks for watching i will see you in the next video bye bye